1960s was named the golden age of American rock. One of the biggest reasons is the spread of psychedelic art, which is the counterculture art. The word psychedelic is an English term coined from the Greek words for soul and manifest. The intent was to discover a new realm of freedom and to liberate people's minds. I had too much to dream last night is a song written by Nancy Mans, which was recorded in late 1966 by the Electric Prunes. This title is a pun on having too much to drink, and the sense of laxity and freedom can be easily feel. And this can be embodied from the changes of artists' perceptions, representations, and the corporatization of art. The 1960s were a period when long-held values and norms of behavior seemed to break down. Particularly among the youth, many college-age men and women became political activists and were the driving force behind the civil rights and anti-war movements. Other young people simply dropped out and separated themselves from the mainstream culture through their appearance and lifestyle. As the 1960s progressed, widespread social tensions also created new cultural forms, and as a result, the psychedelic art. Which simply means any art inspired by psychedelic experiences was derived from the counterculture, which predominated the whole 1960s. Combined tightly with the hippie culture, psychedelic art did radically change the direction of art, and kept affecting modern art even after the counterculture era ended. As Ken Johnson, an American art critic who writes for the arts pages of the New York Times, once said. Psychedelic culture had really a central impact on art beginning in the 1960s. If you look at a lot of different styles in art of the past 50 years, you can see the influence of psychedelics, ranging from sculpture that looks very minimal, like Richard Serra's giant spiral maze-like structures, to something like Robert Smithson's spiral jetty. However, according to Ken's theory. There were probably a lot of artists that didn't necessarily want to do psychedelic style art, that were still influenced by the experience and created works that might be conceptually psychedelic. Thus, the impact of psychedelic culture is raised to a perceptual stage. There are various forms of psychedelic art: paintings, concert posters, album covers, light shows, comic books, digital art, and music. Artists create their works with oil on canvas, tempera, acrylic, water-based printed ink, and even some temporarily unfamiliar medium such as digital media. Optical vibrating effect of graphic lines, collage technique, richly saturated colors in glaring contrast are all hallmarks of psychedelic poster art style. Psychedelic experiences have also changed the way of representing the art. And have pushed the rock music into a new stage. Many of the British musicians and bands that had embraced psychedelia moved into creating the progressive rock genre in the 1970s. Psychedelic rock, with its distorted guitar sound, extended solos, and adventurous compositions, was an important bridge between blues-oriented rock and the later emergence of heavy metal genre. Psychedelic influences lasted little longer in pop music, stretching to early 1970s and playing a major part in the creation of bubblegum pop. Furthermore, during the early years of the 1970s, the commercial potential of psychedelic art had become hard to ignore. Hair products, cars, cigarettes, and even panty holes became colorful acts of pseudo rebellion. General Electric, for instance, promoted clocks with designs by New York artist Peter Max. The clocks display Max's signature psychedelic style that matches perfectly with the quintessential image of the 1960s America. And the clocks are exactly the example of the injection of Max's style, which could represent the whole psychedelic culture into the mainstream consumer market, where they reached an even larger audience. In a word. The psychedelic art did change the direction of art from various perspectives. It changed the artist's perceptions, representations, and established the corporatization of art. With the illusion, it has already become part of the culture that is well accepted by the public.